Quick disclaimer, this video is intended to celebrate the racial diversity of different ethnic groups and peoples and should not be misconstrued as hateful or prejudiced. Okay, disclaimer out of the way, let's get into ranked racism. <laughs> I already know the thumbnail for this video is going to be diabolical. Ever played GeoGuessr and thought, hmm, I wish I could geolocate where different ethnic groups originate slash inhabit? Well, first of all, what a strange thought and Secondly, now you can, with this new Ethnoguessr game, which we will be playing. I've been playing this game religiously basically every day, kind of like a Wordle, except less boring. The website gives you a male and female face that is the collage of thousands of faces of an ethnicity, and asks you to try and guess where in the world that ethnicity originates from. Different ethnicities, as you know, often have distinct features that can be used to identify them. These can be standardized, such as the cephalic index, which compares the length of the face to the breadth of the face and is a very popular metric and is especially useful in identifying hyperbrachycephalic faces, such as those seen in Central Asia. We're going to do the daily 10 ethnicities game and then a quick fire of all 38 afterwards. So, let's begin with the first pair of faces. Yeah, this is easily Central Asia. You can tell because the head is very brachycephalic. In fact, let's analyze all of these faces in the Stoic Stick Ethnicity Classification Station. The faces have light yellowy slash brown skin, which is very common in the Istan region, which is the Kazakhs, the Mongols, the Uzbeks. As you can see, the shape of the faces are very round and spherical, and they're also very euryprosopic, which is a comparison between the distance from the nose to the bottom of the chin and the distance from cheekbone to cheekbone, also very prominently found in Central Asia slash the Kazakh region. Also, the eyes have a slight Mongolian fold to them. As you can see, this part of the eye slightly folds over the eye here, and also the straight black hair of the yellowish skin complexion is also very commonly found in Central Asia. So yeah, I think I'm going to put it in southern Kazakhstan on the border with Uzbekistan. Okay, 3,332 points isn't that bad. Yeah, I probably should have just put it in central Kazakhstan, but, but as you can see, it's the Istans and parts of Mongolia and China, which I'm guessing is the Uyghur populations. On to the next one. Okay, I'm pretty sure that they're Aboriginal or Papua New Guinean, the lady especially. It's definitely not Africa though, but let's have a closer look. The hair is a bit too straight and the distance between the eyes are too narrow, which also leads me to believe that this isn't Africa. Also, the faces are pretty leptoprosopic and they also have a pretty Indian look to them, if you know what I mean. It's how I almost immediately knew that they weren't from Africa, but the nose is too wide for it to be one of the darker Indian types. So... Yeah, I think I'm just going to go with Aboriginal then. The centre of Australia is all just desert, so I'll put it in Western Australia because, I'll be honest, I don't really know where the Aborigines live in Australia. All I do know is that the middle is uninhabitable. Okay, 1,440 points is pretty bad, even though I was basically correct. Yeah, I should have probably put it a little more north, especially since I did think it could have been Papua New Guinean at first, but anyway. Next we have Southeast Asia most likely. I'm leaning towards Myanmar, Cambodia, Laos. It's kind of the red yellowy skin that's common there. The faces are pretty mesocephalic, not too long or too short, but that doesn't really help much as most ethnicities are mesocephalic. It only really rules out Central Asia and parts of Africa. Curly wavy hair and the Asiatic features are another reason why I'm leading towards Southeast Asian. Yeah, the skin colour just makes me think it has to be Laos, and although the image isn't the most clear, you can kind of see that they have slightly angled eyes. You see this part here where they angle a little, which is also a very Southeastern Asian feature. Central Asia is where you get the traditional folded eyes, but yeah, I think it has to be either Myanmar or Laos, and I think I'm just going to put it in Laos. Okay, 1,749 points. Yeah, I didn't really see that as being Malaysia. But, I mean, I'm technically in the right area of Southeast Asia, but just not where the points were, unfortunately. Next, we have definitely Africa. I'm leaning more towards 
northern Africa as the skin tone is a lot lighter than what you would normally find in sub-Saharan Africa. You don't want to go too far north though as the coastal north are a shade lighter than what we have here. We have a slightly dolichocephalic face which again points to it being in Africa. They also have curlier hair but it's not kinky or peppercorny which again points it to being western Africa. I'm kind of split between Niger and Mali. Any further north would be too light in skin colour like Libya, Algeria. So I think I'm going to probably guess Mali. Okay, 3152 is actually pretty good. Though I didn't expect it to be nearly as far north as that. On to the next one. Yeah, this one's easily the land of the rising sun, Japan. How I usually differentiate between the Japanese ethnic groups and any of the other Asiatic countries such as the Chinese are that usually the Japanese have larger eyes relative to the rest of their face compared to the Chinese which have thinner eyes as well as the Mongolian fold being less pronounced slash common in Japanese populations but especially pronounced in Chinese populations. I know that sounds like BS, like yeah, the Japanese all have anime eyes but I'm being serious. Yeah, so we're just gonna stick this in probably just the middle of Japan. Okay, yeah, I wouldn't have been able to guess if it was more northern or southern, so I'm happy that we got 4,582 points on this one. The next ethnicity we have kind of look like the Aborigine, but a skin shade lighter. So, seeing as how we've already seen the Aborigine question, it makes the most sense to me to guess that this is probably Papua New Guinea. Again, it's because the curly hair and the fact that they are hairier is what makes me believe that this isn't in Africa as well as the face being relatively mesocephalic. It would lean more towards dolichocephalic if it was nearer Africa. The nose is also very similar to the Aborigines, so another reason why I'm going to put it near them. I think that I'm probably going to put it in eastern Papua New Guinea. Okay, um, I was never going to guess that one island out of like the six that we have here, but I'm still happy with 2,524 points. And on to the next one. Hell yeah, this one is extremely easy. This one is going directly into the heart of Canada. That's right. <laughs> Only joking, of course. This is obviously India. This one is pretty much a freebie, but there are still some distinctions that you can make for bonus points. North Indians are a shade lighter than what we have here, and Southeast Indians are generally darker than what we have as well, due to higher UV exposure. So I'm going to lean towards this being southwestern India, just by process of elimination. Okay, I was a little too south, but as you can see, the secondary red layer shows how it can kind of be all over the area. Anyway, not going to complain about 4,762 points though. On to the next one. Okay, again, this just looks very Melanesian, and by process of elimination, these have to be Papua New Guineans because we've had just about every other ethnicity in this area so far. Curly hair, darkish skin, the lady with the very brachycephalic head shape. I'm going to stick this in the center of the island and see what we get. 3,942 points is kind of low for getting the correct island in my opinion, but, but I'm just being salty because we've been re-guessing the same island three times and when I do get it correct, it isn't a perfect score, but whatever, it's fine. Next we have easily Eastern Asia with the hyperbrachycephalic heads. Lighter yellowish skin and Mongolian folds all make me lean more towards the northern part of China on the border of Mongolia. That being said, the lady on the right does look very Japanese, which if the man didn't have the extremely Mongolian looking head shape and very defined facial features, I may have went a little further east, but I think I'm sticking with Northern China slash Mongolia. Okay, yeah, just Mongolia. But as you can see, these features are very present basically throughout all of Eastern Asia and even parts of Russia. 3,486 points is decent, so I'm not complaining. And finally, we have the European for the last ethnicity. Fair skin and straight brown hair doesn't really narrow it down much, but they look very French in my opinion. I think it has to do with the guy's thin and pointy nose that makes him look especially French. 
So I think I'm just going to put it in coastal France and see what we get. Okay, I didn't get to see how many points we got for that one, but overall 3,027 points average is pretty good in my opinion. Could have done better on some of the ones that I did get right, but I think 60% is pretty good overall. One week of practice later. Quick fire section of the video now, and I'm just going to go as fast as I can, do it purely based on instinct from first glance, and see how many points I can get. Uh, the first one, we haven't started yet, so I'll, I'll take my time a bit on this one. Central Asia, Turkmenistan, Tajikistan, Uzbekistan. All right, now. South Asia. Uh, Latinx. These are my Mexicans. Uh, this is South, South America. This is Indians. These are India, Bangladesh. This is Mies, Persians, Iran, Afghanistan. Cent this is, I think, Central African Republic. Mongolia. This is, I think, Native American. Libyans. This is Kenyans. Um, shit, I just gotta guess. Uh, China, Eastern China. This is Ethiopians. This is Central Europe. Uh, Mexicans. North South America. Aborigine squared. Aborigine island. Um, very far east. Uh, these are the Papua New Guineans. Uh, this has to be Mali, Mauritania. Uh, North Africa. This is Morocco, Tunisia. China again, near North Korea, South Korea's native. I'm gonna I'm just gonna guess Native American. India, the woman is very Indian looking. India, Pakistan, uh, Native American, South African, um, I'm gonna say North Tanzania. <laughs> uh, this is Russia, I think. Uh, this is the Congo. I think e either of the Congos. Mm, close. Uh, North Nordic, kind of Finlandy, Swedish, Finland. I'll put it there. Uh, more east, actually. Uh, these are Aborigines. Uh, this is. Iraq, yeah, Middle East, Japanese, put it on Hiroshima, <laughs> um, pff, Mongol, Mongolian fold eyes, Mongolia, this is England, uh, uh, Nepalese, Bhutanese, and Second to last, we have more Southeast Asians, Thailand, and finally, I guess Turkey. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. I feel like I've kind of min-maxed this game now. I'm getting near perfect on every score. So if you can beat my score of 4,462, I'd be surprised because, I don't know, I whenever I'm bored, I just... I've been playing this game for like a week now and it's been pretty fun, I'll be honest. But uh, yeah, that's the end of the quickfire round. 4,462 is kind of crazy. But yeah. And that is the Ethno Guesser game. Hopefully we all learned a thing or two today, even if it was how to be a better racist. But if you enjoyed the video, consider liking and subscribing. But other than that, thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye.